Ooh, lots of backfire on this new Maserati Gimli. Uh, welcome everybody to a brand new video on the channel. So, we got ourselves a new car added into the game. Now, it's not really a new car, it's been in the games previously, but it's a new car to this actual game. And it's the Maserati Ghibli. And I really want to go ahead. Ugh, where am I going? I really want to go ahead and turn this thing into a drift car. If that's... Well, it is possible. Because they've already checked if there's drift special available for this thing. And there is. At the moment, this thing is an all-wheel drive. Um, it sounds good. I always like the Gimli. It looks pretty good. I'm going to keep calling it a Gimli, by the way. Just for the fun of it. Uh, it is called a Ghibli. Uh, is it called a Ghibli? Is it a Ghibli? It's not a Ghibli. It's definitely a Ghibli. Either way, <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I'm going to turn this thing into a drift car. That's that's pretty much what's happening. It's it's not slow, but it's also not that fast. I also do wish that this thing was also rear-wheel drive standard, but it's not. It's a Q4. Let's change it to a Q2. Anyway, let's just, let's just go for it. Let's just do things to this thing. Um, let's just start upgrading things on it. So, of course, like I said, we can go ahead and put drift suspension on it, which is the most important thing. For a drift car. Anyway, the drift suspension just allows me to have more steering angle, which is pretty much what we're going for here. So, the standard engine in this thing is a 2.9 liter V6. Am I correct in saying that? I'm probably correct in saying that. And it's also turbocharged. So, two uh, 2.9 liter V6. Is this the same? En uh, can't be. Is this the same engine that's in the Alpha? Is this the same engine that's in the Alpha Romeo um, Quadrifoglio? Probably. I don't know. I don't really know, to be completely honest. All these cars sort of share the same engines, but they don't share the same engines. So, yeah. The QV is more of a performance thing than this is, I guess, because it has a little bit more power. Honestly, the standard engine makes some serious power, which I'm pretty pretty surprised. 725 horsepower. It's a very heavy car, though, I just realized. Um, obviously, we're going to make this thing where we'll drive because it's a, lot, it's a lot more fun. That does not get rid of a lot more weight. That does not get rid of a lot of weight. Uh, I think we should engine swap this thing. So what can we put? 4.7 liter V8, which is probably a Maserati engine. 3.9 liter V8 twin turbo, which is... Where is this from? The 488? The Ferrari 488? I think that's pretty much where this is from, if I remember correctly. And then we have a 6 liter V12, which is, again, another... Um, wait, is this a Lamborghini engine? Or it could be, oh, it could be the Enzo engine, actually. Because I think the Enzo has a 6-liter V12 as well in it. Ooh, interesting, interesting. Because I know that the LaFerrari engine is different when it shows up. And I don't think that's a... I, I, I honestly don't remember. Either way, we have some different engines here. And I think I want to go with the 488 engine. Because it's it just sounds a little bit more interesting. If I go with the 6-liter V12, I've kind of sort of done that before. It's a little bit boring. But this is interesting. Um, so we got a 488 engine in this thing now. That's also twin turbo. Um, I don't really want to add any parts to it like that because that just looks stupid. Uh, since we're keeping this thing rear wheel drive, I think race tires is a must for it because of that. Uh, because we're squeezing out a stupid amount of horsepower. 315 mils on the rear tires. As for our wheels, I mean, there's a bunch of different types of wheels that I kind of want to choose for these, but I immediately went and got attracted to ADVs, so I might just stick on some ADV ones. I don't really know which ones to put on. Uh, I kind of like these, but I don't really know if I want the gold the gold setup on them. We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to keep them like that. Uh, however, I do want to go ahead and bring the track width on the front out, especially. The rear end doesn't look too bad. We'll bring that out, I guess, what one click there, I guess. Um, but, yeah, anyway, let's just go ahead and pretty much upgrade the rest of this thing. I am going to go ahead and obviously lower this thing as low as possible because right now it's still really, really high, especially on the rear end. I don't understand why. Um, but we'll do that. And weight reduction gets rid of a significant amount of weight, which is good because, again, this thing is still super, super heavy. Uh, we'll see what this thing drives like, though. I really want to see if this thing is uh, it's decent to, to just hoon around for a little bit. I don't really care about like getting points or anything with this car. I just want to have a good car to, to drive around with. So, 957 horsepower, 1,400 kilos, 1,028 newton meters of torque, which isn't too bad. Um, we have spent quite a lot of money on this thing. I want to go ahead and see if there's... Actually, I don't really know if I want to change the... Uh, well, I don't want to change the full design on it uh, of this car, but I do definitely want to change the color of it because I don't really like this color on it. And this is pretty much just the color that they give you on the car. However, 
There is a silver. This. This is the color I wanted for it. I really, really like this color. A lot. I think it looks really, really good. And then I'm going to paint the wheels just fully black. No, no rim around those. So let's just go to advanced. All paint groups. Go to normal. Paint all these black. I don't really want to paint them um, like a matte black. Because I, I just don't think that looks good. Uh, and then just tint the windows as well. So let's just do this. Because I think this looks pretty decent. Again, ADVs is just something I wanted to add on this thing. Since I've seen it, I was like, this has to, this has to have some ADV wheels. Okay. What does this look like now? It looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. It looks pretty good. Again, like I said, I've always liked the Ghibli. I think it always looked really, really good. It's a very, it's a very cool car. Well, I guess I could scrape off that Q4 badge and replace it with a Q2. That just pretty much means that it's all-wheel drive, so it's not anymore. All right. That is more like it. That is more like it. That is a much more fun engine. It's quick. It's quick. It definitely... It definitely gets the back out. Man, this thing pulls. Oh, God. Keep it on the road. This is seriously quick. Whoa. It does 200 miles an hour with ease. With ease. All right. Um, I think we should take out some curvy roads if I want to drift this thing. Which means Fortune Island time, boys. It means Fortune Island time. I really want to drive this thing. Like, just properly, just take it around corners. I don't really care for sim steering or anything like that. I just want to see how fun this guy actually is to, to slide about. Because, I mean... I mean, I can go and try to do, like, these skill point cars. Or, like, just, like, skill... Oh, not skill. What am I talking about? Drift point cars. Well, it's kind of boring to do every single car the same way, so... It's got a ridiculous amount of torque. Before we go to the rear wheels. Super, super smooth. Very easy to control. Very nice. I'm gonna I'm gonna try lower it. I try lower it a little bit more because that's something that I said I was gonna do. It is as low as possible. Well that sucks. That sucks. Because the back end is still a bit too high for my liking. This engine actually really does make a good sound. Which is very surprising to say, since a lot of the uh, a lot of the engine sounds in this game are pretty much recycled from other cars. I mean, obviously this is recycled because it is the same engine as the 488. But but the sound is actually not bad at all on it. Man, even uphill, this thing just has all the power in the world. I don't have to keep it. I don't have to keep my foot down or anything like that. It has all the power to just pull itself uphill. On race tires. This is actually a very nice car to drive. It's actually been a little while since I've ended up doing a drift build. I'm really enjoying this car. I, I honestly really, really like it. Look how smooth it is! Oh my god, I like this. Okay, well... We found a nice, decent car for we're sliding around with. Just having a little bit of fun with it. What's the steering angle looking like? Let's... Let's try to stretch this out. Actually, I'll do it downhill, because I feel like downhill will be a little bit easier. To push this. Okay, so it's not bad. It's not, like, FD standard, but... Yeah, it's 
definitely not FD standard, like, drift angle, but... It ain't bad. It ain't bad at all. Alright, let's do a bit, of, a bit of downhill action. Because that will literally just eliminate the power aspect of this thing. And we'll check out, see what the handling is like on it. So the race tires give this thing so much grip. This gearbox is perfect as well. I didn't even touch the gears. I love the ratios. Third gear absolutely rips. Wow. This is the first car in a long time where I just pretty much slapped down some parts to it and did absolutely nothing and it handles like a dream. Look how good it just picks up power and it's all in the same gear. Not once have I felt uncomfortable driving this thing. Like saying you got too much power or it doesn't have enough power or it doesn't have enough angle. I feel like... I feel like this is just perfect. It is literally the perfect like hoon around car. Haven't even spun it once. It's that predictable. I definitely suggest you guys give this thing a shot. I 100% suggest that you guys give this car a shot. You guys saw the price that I put out on, on this thing. There's no tune on it whatsoever. I've done absolutely nothing to it. Again, couldn't care about the points. Oh my god, even in fourth. Look at that! Oh my god, this is so nice to drive. Alright, well... I guess that's pretty much it for this thing. It's lovely. It's a lovely, lovely car to drive. Nice. The sound is good. The handling is brilliant. The grip is great. Transmission is lovely as well. The gear ratios are perfect. For the first time, I ended up spinning it. For the first, and I'm stuck here. Sick. Well, I'm gonna stop there. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. The brand new Ghibli that's not so new uh, added into Forza Horizon 4, obviously, with the new season change. And uh, yeah, if you guys wanna get this thing, I can't even show it to you. There is an event. Actually, I can show it to you. If I go to the festival playlist and I go up here to this Summer Community Championship, uh, just do this and you get one for free. And that's it. Fairly simple stuff. Well, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys again very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more videos like this on the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Like this video if you liked it. Comment down below whatever you guys want. Share it. Follow me on other social medias and all that sort of stuff if you guys want. But for now, that's pretty much it. Maserati Ghibli is a very, very fun car to drift with. So, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.